ZoFPV wants to know what's the difference between the uh, TrueRC X error and the X2 error. Would it be worth the extra bulk? Let's um, let's make sure we're thinking about the same antenna. The X2 error is is this the single? Is the single output? Yeah. Okay. So the X2 error basically is like an X error, but it has a narrower vertical beam width. Okay. So let's just look up the X error to be sure. The X error. Let's find the Mark II though. Oh, that's the DJI one. Hold on, that's not what I want. This is the one I want. So here's the X Air Mark II, which is a single antenna. The X2 Air is a dual antenna stacked. And the effect of this is that the 120 degrees, 68 degrees, 150 degrees, 62 degrees. Interesting. I would have thought it would be... Wait, shut up. Why would you spec a different... What is this then? Of course the 3dB beam width is the beam width. In what crazy world... Oh, okay. Here, we're at least giving you the definition. That's dumb. This is... It's not dumb. It's annoying though. The 3dB beam width is the standard way that antenna beam is measured there uh, there is a reason for doing this what they call the flight beam it's not really well anyway anyway so be that as it may uh we got 74 and 34 for the x2 and 68 you're not going to give me the vertical god dang it god dang it to heck Uh, where's the V2? We got to find it. Stupid. 5.8 gigahertz. Oh, shut up. Uh, what a dumb cat. Uh, no, wrong. Wrong. Is it under short range? Those are omnis. Why wouldn't you just say omnis? dumbass oh i'm in a sour mood today sorry it's because i have a cold x air mark ii hallelujah can i have the specs please can i know the specs beam width 68 degrees well is that the horizontal or the vertical beam width you doofus neither both i have no idea okay okay um, well, anyway, <laughs> uh, how can we try to come out of this in a helpful way? The 743468, the, the X2 will have two stacked antennas, which squashes the vertical beam giving you more gain at the expense of less vertical beam width. The x air will have essentially a conical beam with roughly even vertical and horizontal beam width. Okay? I see. Yeah, Marcel says it's square. Well, still, you need to put vertical and horizontal. That's how you do it. That's how antennas are. So we have a 68 degree by 68 degree beam width for the single, and we have a 74 by 34. So approximately half the vertical beam width, which is what I would roughly expect when you double, when you stack two antennas, half the vertical beam width with a slightly wider horizontal beam, but not that much difference. And we go to 13 dBi of gain from about 10 dBi of gain. So an additional 3 dB of gain gives you about 1.4 times the coverage, 1.4 times the range. Um, so basically, to boil it down, about 1.4 times the range for the double antenna 
at the expense of roughly half the vertical beam width. There you go.